All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Okay. We did. Look, the Bulls said, you know what, Kern? We're not listening to you today, man. <laughs> wow, we didn't even get a. Uh, we, that's about it. That, that's not, I don't even. I mean, that was really small. The Bulls absolutely killed it today. Okay. Shout out to the Bulls for killing it. Uh, wow, 911 points for the Dow. 90 points for S&P, 220 for NASDAQ. NASDAQ is higher, you know, right now than it has been all year. So NASDAQ not affected by the massive drop, and uh, it's higher than it is, you know, and that's because of all the tech stocks and, and, and stay-at-home stuff. Okay, I think that's going to fall. I'm going to start to fall once uh, everybody's back again, no longer on Netflix 24 hours a day and, and Zoom and all the things like that. Um, we might see a decline in that. Um, but uh, global Dow was up 93, gold was down 23, and oil was up 11. percent We had a little drop in oil, it looked like it was the, uh, the 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 sell, and it never happened. We we you know we sell off what's about to come, and then they step time. So we didn't get the June um, the uh, the June future contract sell off. Okay, and the Dow stayed on top now. Something, you know, something, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for something big to happen as soon as the 20th hit, the 20th to, to the first week of June, something big meeting on. You guys already know that. So could it involve, you know, silver? Could it involve gold? Could it involve Warren Buffett? Could it involve a surprise in Iraq? Could it involve a prophetic boom in, in, uh, in, in Iran? Could it involve, um, you know, some other crazy stuff <laughs> and, and, their, and uh, the government of, uh, of America and uh, the politicians, uh, some type of politician announcement? Um, could it involve, uh, you know, children, you know, and all the things that are going on behind the scenes with that and uncovering that um, to the full extent and degree? Um, could it involve all types of any, any you know different things? Uh, the financial system, maybe, um, maybe there's a major announcement um, from Donald Trump on, on Friday, or, or or on the 20th, or the 22nd, or or the 27th, or the 29th, or the you know the the 31st. You know, I don't know, you know, but something's gonna have to shift for us to to get into that new world, you know, to get into that new era. That you know that um, that removes this corruption, you know something's gonna have to give us sitting here at twenty four thousand and just going back and forth between twenty four thousand and twenty three thousand is not gonna get it done. It's not gonna bring the revaluation of Iraqi dinar. It's not gonna bring uh, God's money uh, out of the ash, gold and silver. It's not gonna bring the new the gold standard if that's what's coming. Sitting here with the Dow inflated with debt is not going to do this, right? Um, so something's going to have to give here. Where we've been stuck in this area of twenty-three to twenty, uh, twenty, basically twenty twenty-five thousand, and the, and we we called it the pause, and but the world's starting to reopen now. Something has to give. Something has to give now, right? Uh, most of the world's reopening. Most of the world's trying to get go back to normal, even though there's no, there's going to be no such thing as going back to normal. They're going to try to go back to some type of normalcy. So something has to give within these next few days. Okay, so I don't know what's going to happen. Played out some scenarios on what could happen, uh, but as you can see today, I mean, did, I mean, we didn't even get a dip. We didn't even get a dip today. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Do we challenge 25,000 tomorrow? Do the Bulls challenge 25,000 tomorrow? Or is tomorrow a red day? We're stuck again right back in the cycle, and tomorrow we're down 800 points tomorrow or down 500 points tomorrow. Are we going to challenge 25,000 tomorrow? I guess we'll Remember, remember the number is twenty four thousand six eighty one. That's the number the bulls need to close above and stay above to be able to turn the charts bullish and get back up to the two hundred. I think it's a two hundred moving day average, and then and then get back to twenty nine thousand. 
They got to get above 24,681, stay above it for several days, get that new support, and then go higher from there. Will they get it tomorrow? Is tomorrow the day that we actually close above 24,681? I think we've, I think we tried to do it one, we tried to do it several, about two weeks ago, and we failed to close above it. We, we, we were, the bulls were short just by a little. And then it started going bearish from there. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a very, very interesting day, okay, as the Bulls are going to try their hardest and to uh, not allow you – know, the, the Bears are going to try their hardest not allow the Bulls to close above that 24,681. So I guess we'll see how this all plays out uh, tomorrow. And also, um, tomorrow's the 19th, okay, so I guess we'll see if oil stays high or does it you know, crumble tomorrow. I don't know. 7% right now. Um, oil's going to 40 bucks, and uh, we'll take it. I mean, if oil goes to 40, Zion oil and gas, should hopefully Zion oil and gas is on its way to, you know, at one, uh, 50 cents. You know what I mean? Let's get let's get up there to 50 cents. Let's get up there to a dollar. We're waiting on news on Zion oil and gas, by the way. This is just, we're in the second half of May. We're waiting on we're waiting on news. Remember, they they're going to start drilling. They know that they're starting drilling. I think if they put out an announcement that they have started drilling in Israel. Right, using their rig, that's gonna bring the mark. I think we go. I think we're gonna go up to um, fifty cents easily. I think fifty cents is in the cards when that happens. So I'm watching Zion and gas. I want to hear. I want to see them announce that they have started drilling, and then after that, you know, maybe we 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 make our way up to a dollar, a dollar thirty, dollar forty, dollar fifty range, and then we wait to see if they actually have found oil, and then when they do. Then we start to explode to five dollars, ten dollars, and twenty-five dollars, and things like that. All right. So the first step is Zionist is now drilling for oil. I want out that we we want to hear that within the next two weeks here, right? In, in the month of May, um, and if they could do that, we, we we're looking at fifty cents to a dollar fifty range. Okay, and then we I guess we'll wait patiently to see if uh, they actually found oil. And we'll go from there. All right. So I, I'm, you know, I'm buying, I'm, I'm, I'm buying every day Zion oil and gas a little bit here, maybe twenty dollars here, fifty dollars here, a hundred dollars here. I'm just buying every day. I uh, my my mag, you know, it's it's cheap. You know, what I mean, you can you can get to a hundred thousand shares. You know, uh, just you know, buying daily a small small amount. I'm not a financial advisor or wealth manager. You guys know that. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm trying to get to that hundred thousand uh, share level. So I'm buying every, and uh, if it's five hundred here, you know, eight hundred shares here, six hundred shares there. You know, it's gonna quickly build up and get me to that level. And of course, if Donald and Gas makes an announcement, huh, they've uh, you know that they started drilling, then of course, uh, you know. <laughs> You know, what I have is what I have, right? Um, and then we'll go from there. But um, I'm excited for Zion and Gas, excited to see the future, excited for what's coming um, in um, to America and to the rest of the world. I'm excited about uh, evil, uh, the unjust, uh, the people that, 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 that um, create this uh, environment of injustice that, that to go down um, and the just will rise. And uh, it looks like it's all going to play out here at the, you know, these last coming days. I think the fun begins on the 20th and from the 20th all the way through the first week of June. I think in that time period, uh, of course, we can extend it to the second half of June as well because uh, into June because of the real estate markets. The real estate markets will start to crumble uh, in the month of June and July. So we can we can actually extend this all the way to, you know, the elections, really. You know what I mean? Because this is a new, we're trying to enter into a new, um, a, a new, a new life, a new realm, a new, a new, a new everything. So, um, you know, gold, God's money, gold and silver must rise. And uh, they're going to try to slam it down and it's going to rise. They're going to slam it down. It's going to rise. They're going to slam it down. And uh, that's going to be your signal. Like, uh-oh, here we go. And you know, when, once you see silver start to rise, and it could be on, it could be Friday. It could be this Friday. This Friday, silver might explode to $50. And then they're, they're going to have to slam it back down. Right, but it could all, but it could disrupt the system. Silver could disrupt the system. You know, one announcement from from um, from uh, Warren Buffett that 
I just bought, you know, a hundred billion dollars worth of silver. Like, uh oh, here we go. You know what I mean? <laughs> here comes the rest of the world rushing in to buy silver, right? And silver shoots right up to fifty dollars. Spot price premiums are probably around one fifty, two hundred dollars. <laughs> wow, you know what I mean? Some of you guys are gonna be like, "Hey, I'm about to sell. My, I'm about to go sell my silver right now." I probably, if premiums are at two hundred dollars, I probably can sell my pre. I could probably sell it at the at a pawn shop or an exchange for for uh, you know, um, you know, if it's one hundred and fifty, I can probably sell it for one twenty five or one hundred dollars flat. You know, so imagine that. Imagine you have. Imagine you have a thousand silver coins, and you can get a hundred dollars per each coin now. You know what I mean? It's pretty freaking good, isn't it? Um, but, of course, that's temporary, and uh, we know silver's going to go even a lot higher than that. So, you know, it's not about you know, prices where the premium prices are going to be a lot better, especially for silver. It's going to be crazy, right? So, anyways, shout out to the Bulls today. They they uh they didn't for nothing today. We'll see what happens tomorrow if they can close above twenty four thousand six eighty one. Um, and uh, shout out to you know everybody that's uh, in Zinal and Gas, and uh, for those that are holding the dollar. You know, the dollar was over a hundred the other day. It's down today. Let's see what happens tomorrow. The the dollar might start to fall drastically here after the Fed say we're gonna print. Continue to print unlimited amount. Negative interest rates are, are well, they're saying negative interest rates not yet, but everybody's they're pricing in negative interest rates, right? Like, but they're 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 saying, look, we're gonna print an amount of dollars, and uh, we have am we have ammo for 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 days and days and days. That's going to start. People are going to be selling the dollar worldwide, and we're going to see the dollar start to fall here after those Fed's uh, you know, decision uh, to make that announcement that they're just going to print unlimited amount of money. So the dollar could start falling here like crazy, and I guess we'll see what that happens. What what that does? Uh, will people move into uh, um, you know will hyperinflation start to kick in here very soon as well? Um, and will Trump step up and say, you know what, I don't want hyperinflation in my country. Here, we're going back to a gold standard, uh, at least one third gold back standard, asset back, silver back uh, standard here. And uh, type of an announcement. Maybe he makes some type of announcement uh, this week. I um, you know, after what the Fed just said, that they're not stopping unlimited amount. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get some big, big news. I'm excited to see whatever happens, man. And then we have to, uh, we, we're already in position. We, you know, we have our gold, we have our silver for many, many of you guys, or you have at least gold or silver. I have silver. Um, and, uh, and then you have the four stocks, you have, um, you have your cryptos. Okay. So, you know, and then whatever else you need to have. Right. Um, and I guess we'll just see how this all plays out and, um, prepare to pre prepare to move, prepare to move quickly. Um, once these announcements are made, prepare to shift, prepare to move quickly and, uh, let's see what happens. Peace out. God bless. And I told you guys I'll be back. Because I wanted to see the Bulls play this if we had saw and then rebound and close about 100 points. But nope, we didn't see a dip. The Bulls stayed strong the whole day and we stayed and we and we closed at 911. I know Kevin and others uh, that are looking for this market to go back to 29,000, 30,000 range are very excited today. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, and like I said, I can play this game up and I can play this game down. Okay. If we go to 30,000, that means Zinal and gas probably just made me uh, a lot of money, <laughs> okay? And then I can just flip it and and then play the and then and then you know and then maybe play some of the four stocks and others and then play it on the way down, all right? And make even more money. So I can we can play this game either way, and I'm I'm, I'm fine with that, and it's all good. You should be able to make money on the way up, and you should be ma make money on the way down as well. Peace out, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, eyes open.